If you are new to our channel, I am Ami and this is my partner Sagar and we are travelling for 625 days around the world. In this vlog, we are going to take you to Kuala Lumpur's famous places. We are going to start from the iconic and the world's tallest twin towers, Petronas Towers. Then we are going to go to Kuala Lumpur Tower and then we are going to explore some different cultures in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, that will be Chinatown and Little India and hopefully we'll be able to catch beautiful sunset at the Buddhist temple. But before I do that, let me show you our accommodation. So this is our accommodation and we are going to start showing you our accommodations wherever we go from now on. Um, in Kuala Lumpur, there is a culture of a service department where you can get like basic apartments um, with basic amenities. So this is our kitchen that we rarely use. This is the dining table and this is where I work and this is where Sagar works. Now the big and like the awesome part of this apartment is this big window where we can see everything outside like a good view of the city and uh, usually we have our meals over here and coffee in the morning um, you can also see there is a market over there um, where we had our dinner last night and the market like in Kuala Lumpur there is a big culture of a food truck um, so they have like a bunch of food trucks over there with a bunch of options and uh, yeah this is our I think queen size bed I could be wrong but it's very comfortable so yeah I will link this apartment in the description below so if you want to check out you can do that we also have gym and swimming pool in the apartment um, so that's a plus point oh and I forgot for the first time ever in more than two months this apartment has something that we never ever had it before full-size mirror I, I don't have to look my reflection in the elevator ever again world's tallest tower tick it's not world's Sorry. tallest world's, tower but... world's tallest twin towers oh my god <laughs> This is very crazy because we are early. There is a viewing platform they made to view the Petronas Tower. And there is no one here. It's only me and Ami. It's 8.30 in the morning. Oh my God. I think Saga spoke too soon because now there is a whole heaps of people started coming in. Why? <laughs> Because we are on budget, like we have to make some choices and we decided we are not going to go up to the viewing tower um, to see the city view because we have something very exciting planned. Um, to tell you a secret, it's I think more exciting and we may be able to catch a beautiful sunset. <laughs> Sagar is sweating like hell so we are going to go into the Petronas Towers. Um, conveniently, it is like the first two floors are all the shops and high-end brands. So obviously we are not going to buy anything, but we are going to go window shopping. Okay, Ami, what's your take on this, you know, high-end brands? If you have enough money to buy from some of these brands, will you buy it? Look, I can't say for sure because I never had enough money. <laughs> But if I have enough money, then I would definitely uh, splurge on like uh, good skincare products, good hair products, and I think I'll I would spend more on good quality clothing. But no, I am not into I would say Prada, Gucci, and like insanely expensive clothing brands mm. or like. Uh, uh, purse brands. I even don't know what they are for. Oh, I would spend on fragrances. Oh, so I think the answer is I may spend money. Yeah, I think, yeah, I was fooling myself. Nah, I would spend money. Of course. I knew that answer. Babe. That's why I asked. I'm, I'm vlogging this because there is a major difference between me and Ami. So I would never spend on any of these big end brands because I think it's a waste of money. Instead, I would spend money on gadgets. 
which I love. And I think it's waste of money too. Hmm, no. If you want a better view of uh, Petronas Twin Tower, don't go to that viewing platform that they provide. No, no, no. Come back at KLCG Park and you will have this. With way less people, like uh, beautiful tranquility and uh, I think clean air. Clean air? Because it's a... Uh, it's park. a garden. Oh, okay. <laughs> And now we are going to the Kuala Lumpur Tower. It's a 40 minutes walk. Um, I was considering going up there, but um, after looking at the price, it's way more than I expected. So we thought, okay, no, we are not gonna go into this one. But um, if you want to buy a ticket for um, Kuala Lumpur Tower for a viewing deck, I would say go to uh, Kluk.com website. Prices are cheaper over there instead of buying it from here. If you don't want to walk up to the KL Tower like us, then you can also take the free shuttle ride as well. And the operating hours are like 8 to 10:30 p.m. Now we are going to the Chinatown, which we are really excited about. And the first thing we are going to do is to find something to eat because we are very hungry. This is Hong Kong all over again. Must like it. This is good. I've got it. And how? <laughs> we don't know how to order. Uh, I was going through different stalls to ask how can I order it, and they were like, "Okay, go there, go there, go there." <laughs> yeah, but looks interesting. As soon as I order, it's like a couple of minutes. Yeah, I got beer, I got tea, fried rice noodles. Yeah, there's another, there's one more thing coming. Reason we are leaving Southeast Asia. We found, I guess, Malaysian dessert. It's called Ice Sand Dog. It's coconut milk with some noodles some and jelly. with some huh? some jelly some jelly and the ice chips no it's it doesn't call chips ice. and ice chips so this lovely business owner just told us that she's running this stall for the last 80 years oh. like her her grandmother mother and now she's running this and it's so good we loved it thank you thank you tell me what can see Welcome. This is Jalan Petling. It is in the heart of the Chinatown and it's famous for affordable shopping shop. So uh, we are at the Mural Street and um, I don't know what is that. So basically, we... basically there are some mural paintings on the wall and if you are in the Chinatown, this is must because it's like the artists have poured their soul in it, so the least we can do is to see it. And enjoy. And admire. Not enjoy. And admire. I think the heat is getting to his head. And he's so sluggish since morning, so please excuse him for the entire oh, video. We have been to uh, Twin Towers, uh, Kuala Lumpur Tower, and also Chinatown. But we have never seen this many people. If you are in Kuala Lumpur and if you want to save some money on taxis, uh, you should consider public transportation and it's really cheap. You just need this touch and go card which is only gonna cost you 10 ringgit and uh, you can top up this card with any amount. And from one station to go to the another station, the maximum amount you you're gonna get charged is only three ringgit so it's that cheap and with this card you will have an access to uh, subway uh, trains buses uh, monorail as well so this card is really useful you can buy this touch and go card from any uh, train station or any subway stations it's very easy to buy if you don't want to buy touch and go um, 
then you can all also buy a ticket. Um, in here they call it token, it looks like this. As soon as you come out of Kale Central Station, you will start seeing all the Indian shops. And you can't miss in Little India, it's just right there. We are walking on the streets of Little India and uh, seriously it's so tempting. They have so many South Indian uh, restaurants. There are like uh, dosa and uh, uttapam and uh, and we have gobi manchurian as well oh my god and tea and pani puri oh my god i am not that hungry otherwise i would have eaten another lunch over here for sure if you are in kuala lumpur pack a rain jacket because it rains anytime and all the time as we are moving closer to this temple i mean we are surrounded by the forest jungle and it's this place feels very isolated there's n not many people around you don't see hustle and bustle of a big city like kuala lumpur and there is like this blanket of peace you know mm. that suddenly you feel and you can hear the birds chirping that's crazy, right? After spending the whole day in the Kuala Lumpur city center, I think this is the perfect way to end the day. I mean, it's so peaceful and so beautiful. I would recommend coming here in the evening during the sunset time because this takes the whole beauty to another level. This, this should be must if you are coming to Kuala Lumpur. It's not very famous, but definitely. So beautiful. Link the description in the bill. Uh, and we will link... Link description. We will link in the description. <laughs> and we will link in the description. We will link... <laughs> we will link in the description. <laughs> Below. I think, I think it's too hot and we both are feeling the heat, so we have to take hundreds of shots before finalizing our final footage. Also, oh my god, Sagar is reducing five years of my life by making me repeat things over and over again. In Malay language, the platform calls Pinto. Platform 1. Platform 1, platform 2, they say it's pin to 1, pin to 2. And in Surat, Chinese food stall is called pin to Chinese Larry. <laughs>